Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A special day today, Mother's Day. I want to wish all of you wonderful moms a happy Mother's Day. Today, I'm going to catch up with Roy, have a conversation, and we're going to talk about moms. I'm also going to walk the beach, and I'm going to try to find a very special shell to hang on our shell tree in memory of all those moms that aren't with us here anymore, at least not in body, but still with us in spirit. We love all of you. So let's take a beach walk and enjoy this beautiful Sunday morning. Again, happy Mother's Day. I figured I'd start here in area four by Roy's bench, the bench that he had placed here in memory of his loving wife, Audrey. Thought that was kind of appropriate for Mother's Day. The poem he wrote for her on their wedding day. A time of love, a time of prayer, a time to tell we really care. A time to dance, a time to sing, a time to hear the heavens ring, a time to leave the outworn way, a blessed time, a newborn day, a time for comradeship and friends, a time, a time that never ends. That is so beautiful. Roy wrote that for his wife, Audrey, on their wedding day. Let's head out to the beach and see what we can find out here. Again, happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful moms. You all are beautiful. We love you. Speaking of moms, maybe we had a sea turtle crawl on the beach last night. You never know. Maybe we'll come across a fresh set of crawl tracks. Tis the season for those sea turtles to nest here. Wow, there's the sea star. I wonder if he's, oh, oh, it's still alive. It's upside down, not looking too good. A nine-armed sea star. It might still be alive. We'll put it back in the water. Give it a fighting chance. I haven't seen any of those lately. This is the first sea star we've seen in a while. Beautiful. The nine-armed sea star. I don't see his little legs moving. He might come back here when we put him in the water. I'm gonna keep an eye out for a special shell to hang on our shell tree this morning for all of the moms that aren't with us anymore. I know my mom's up in heaven watching over me right now. There's a little worm tip shell down here. A little worm tip. of our park rangers over there knocking down filling in a hole that somebody left on the beach please keep these nesting sea turtles in mind we don't want to leave any holes for them to get stuck in on the beach she's over there filling one in kudos to her People don't realize, you know, they they don't leave those big holes on purpose, you know, to, they just don't think about you know, the consequences 
those holes that you leave on the beach are a huge obstacle for these nesting sea turtles. So please fill him in. Well, it is beautiful out here. It's supposed to rain today. Later today, got a pretty good shot at getting some afternoon rain here, and it's desperately needed. Got some fires burning out in eastern Collier County, Lee County. We need all the rain we can get right now. So let's keep our fingers crossed. This is, we're looking south right now. Down the beach, we're up in North Naples, Florida, if you're just tuning in. Tide is on its way in now. The water is beautiful. Look how clear the water is this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. 83 degrees the water temperature. Right now the temp is in the low 70s. Look how nice and clear that water is this morning. Beautiful. It went a little snowy egret, another little snowy egret flying by. Don't forget to take care of your moms today. I hope there's some moms out there watching that are getting served their Mother's Day breakfast in bed. I know a lot of people have dinner plans. We'll be taking mom out to dinner, to brunch. Don't forget to give your mom a call if she lives out of town, away from you. Don't forget to give her a call and tell her you love her today. For those of you that have moms, still have moms with us. I know a lot of folks watching, their moms have passed on. But they are always in our hearts. You can never forget your mom. All the things she did for you as a child growing up. Of course, she didn't always agree with everything she said at the time. Moms were very wise, and so are dads. But today it's all about mom. Gorgeous out here this morning. It was very smoky yesterday, not so bad today. Still a little smell of smoke in the air, but nothing like it was yesterday. I'm going to turn around and start walking back up the beach. It's our friend Roy this morning. I'm looking forward to talking to him. Oh, you know what? The ranger stopped. Uh, looks like she's picking up trash on the beach. She stopped her buggy. 
just a little ways down here. I don't know if that means there was a turtle crawl or if she's just picking up trash. It's a shame the trash that people leave on our beach. A lot of little fish jumping out in the water. Boy, that water is beautiful this morning. So clear. Overcast skies. It's going to be cloudy most of the day. Pretty much guaranteed to have some rain later this afternoon. I wish I had the time to walk down the whole beach. I just don't have that luxury anymore. Got things I gotta do. I have to take my wife and mother-in-law out to breakfast this morning. Then we're gonna go out to dinner this evening. Our park ranger's checking something out up here, but I don't know what she's doing. We had one new sea, one new sea turtle nest yesterday. I don't know if we had any more crawls last night. seen any fresh tracks on the beach yet very sad Just watching the ranger pick up all the trash <laughs> we're in area three right now. Three different sections to the beach here at Del Norwegans. Three right in, being right in the middle. Got five areas. One's the closest to the main entrance. Five is up by Wiggins Pass at the north end of the park. Any crawls? Any crawls last night? No crawls? Oh. <laughs> no crawls last night. Well, let's turn around and walk back up the beach, head north, up towards our friend Roy. As I'm walking, I'm gonna keep an eye out for a nice shell to hang on the tree. We'll hang that in memory of all the moms that have gone on to a better place and can't be with us today. We miss them, mine included. They'll always be in our hearts. Hey, if you're watching and you're a mom, let everybody know. Tell us how many children you have. I know you're proud of your kids. I know my mom was proud of me, she still is. And let's wish all the moms watching a happy Mother's Day.
we'll probably find some interesting shells as we get a little further north here on the beach. Hey, about 11, around 11.30 this morning, I was gonna do a yesterday, Belfair from Nonstop Naples, Belfair Graves and I are gonna do a quick little live feed from Felipe's in North Naples. Great little Mexican restaurant, great food, a lot of fun. Friday nights, they got great Latin music, Latin nights, it's awesome. They alternate between a mariachi band and then a regular, then a Latin band. They just switch every other Friday night. Unity Latin and what is it, Mar Mariachi Juarez International, great mariachi band. So that's on Friday nights at Felipe's, but we're gonna go in there, do a live feed. Last Saturday, they had a raffle for a trip to Key West. So today, we're gonna announce the winners of that raffle during the live feed. There's always something fun happening at Felipe's. So check that out. I'll give you a quick look at the place. And of course, free breakfast for mothers of veterans and mothers that are veterans. Free breakfast buffet at the VFW Post in Bonita Springs. VFW Post 4254. That starts at 8 and runs until 1130. So husbands, take your wives. Free breakfast. Free breakfast buffet. $7 for everybody else. Can't beat that price. The VFW Post in Bonita Springs. And thank you to all our moms who are veterans. Happy Mother's Day to you. Beautiful little, little snowy egret there. With its little yellow feet. You can see them in the water. It's so clear this morning. That beautiful. Looks like he's wearing little boots, little yellow boots. I wonder if he's gonna catch a fish. He or she. I don't know how you tell the difference. <laughs> Beautiful though with those white plumes. Right behind their head, on top of their head. Happy Mother's Day to your sister, Karen. Hey, let us know if you're a mom, if you're watching and you're a mom, so everybody can wish you a happy Mother's Day. Let us know where you're watching from. Nice little breeze out here this morning. Temperature is going to be in the upper 80s today. A few days ago it was in the 90s, lower 90s. Water temperature is 83 degrees. Expecting some rain later on today. Probably around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Anyway, they're predicting rain, you never know. Florida, you just never know when it's gonna rain. Wow, very, very quiet out here this morning. Quiet on the internet too here, very quiet on Facebook. Let's see, we only have, we don't even have 30 people watching right now, that's unusual. 
But being Mother's Day, I guess a lot of moms get to sleep in today. At least I remember that was the thing when I was a little kid. Trying to make mom something for breakfast and bring her breakfast in bed. <laughs> that was always something. It was usually like a bowl of cereal and some toast and some juice. <laughs> Oh, but mom always acted like she loved it. She was grateful. <laughs> There's our buddy. Hey, Rob, how are you doing this morning? Doing good, Roy. Wonderful. How about you? Fantastic. Isn't That's it? good. It is. <laughs> How's everything going? You get everything worked out yesterday? Oh yeah. I, work goes on. Well, yeah, I know you had to rush off to do something. To, yeah. Well, yeah. I got lots of things to do. But hey, yeah. that's wonderful. Well, that's a blessing to it have is. lots to do. So how's things up at the north end of the park this morning? Oh, about the same. There's a bunch of fishermen and the dolphin. Uh, no, no, no dolphins. dolphins playing no. up there. No, oh. I watched them for quite a while, but nothing like yesterday where oh, that one was really feeding there. I was hoping to see one this morning. Yeah, you never know. It's so flat out there this morning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Nice little breeze blowing. And the blowing. sun was out really good. I saw it through the trees yeah, it and did. I had my, my rainbow rays for sunrise. Oh, beautiful. Which was glorious. It did It did make an appearance there. Yeah, now it's, yeah, the clouds are moving in. They're slipped, moving in from the south. Slipped there. under now. But we're gonna we're gonna probably have some rain this afternoon. We well, definitely there was, need it. Earlier looked like some coming down out of a cloud over the sea. Out in the Gulf. First thing, yeah. 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 Well, I think it's gonna sneak in on us here. Well, I'm gonna walk up the beach. I'm gonna come back and let's talk about moms. Since moms. That's right. It's Mom's Day. It is. It's yeah. all about mom today. So let's yeah. talk about moms. Well, I'm gonna make some calls. Let's my, talk about our moms. My daughter's a mom, and <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and my mom's up in heaven there. You got that right. So I've is been, mine. I've been talking to her. Maybe they're up there talking about us right now together. <laughs> <laughs> watching over us like they always do. They're always do. watching over us. Yeah, aren't they wonderful? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of people watching over us up there. We're so blessed. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm going right. to look for a really special shell on the beach this morning. We've got grandmoms, too. Oh, grandmoms, mm -hmm. yep. Grandmoms count as moms. Yeah, they're a big blessing. Too. Wives Always count as wives been. too. Count yeah. your wife as a mom. That's right. She, our wives are moms. Yep. Yeah. So they're all wonderful, wonderful people. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm going to look for a shell to hang up there in memory of all the oh, moms hey, that's a nice that are up idea. in heaven. Yeah. For all of our friends yeah, say watching. A prayer. That's a yeah. nice idea. So I'll do that. Okay. Hang no. one on for me. I I forgot to hang one on. That's okay. I'll catch up with you here in a little bit. So think about moms, and let's talk about moms when I get back. All the wonderful things they did for us. Boy, didn't they, though? <laughs> At the time, we don't appreciate it, but later on, we look back, and we sure appreciate them. Is that not the truth? <laughs> so I, that's part of growing up, though. I'm sure they were the same way when they were kids. <laughs> Well, we... well, uh, la ladies aren't as quite as recalcitrant as men. <laughs> Say that one again, recalcitrant? <laughs> recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. I, I don't know what it means, but it sounds <laughs> <It's> impressive. Good. <laughs> recalcitrant. <laughs> I like it. Our word of the day, recalcitrant. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to be recalcitrant. Okay. Well, I'm not. I won't be recalcitrant. No, don't be recalcitrant. Okay. If you don't, if you won't, I won't. <laughs> be, be exuberant. I'll be exuberant. Not recalcitrant. All right. <laughs> I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. All well, right. Good seeing you. Have a safe trip there. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Roy. I'll see you in a little bit. Our good friend, Roy. We'll catch up here with Roy a little bit later. We'll talk about moms. Our moms. Moms in general. Whatever comes to mind. In the meantime, I'm just going to walk the beach, walk north here, enjoy the sounds of these little waves rippling along the shore. I'm gonna keep my eye open for a very special shell to hang on that shell tree today. Maybe we'll get lucky and even see a dolphin. You never know. 
never know if a dot when those dolphins are gonna swim by. That'd be a great Mother's Day present, wouldn't it? To see a beautiful dolphin come up close to shore. That little snowy white egret flying by just landed up ahead of us. Such beautiful little birds. standing there like a statue waiting for some unsuspecting little fish to swim by. See how clear that water is? Did he, oh, saw one, not fast enough. There's a lot of little fish swimming offshore there. He's walking pretty fast, getting ahead of me up there. We'll have to let him go and catch up to him in a little while. A little snowy egret. Not a whole lot of shells here this morning. Well, yesterday morning we found a moon shell, a shark eye, a nice little shark eye. A couple, found a couple of uh, murex shells, apple murex shells. Here's that sea star we saw earlier. I put him back in the water. I hope he's still alive. Let me see if I can see his little feet moving now that he's been in the water. No, not seeing any movement. This poor guy's passed on. Beautiful little nine arm sea star though. We have a lot of these out here. sandpipers walking along the beach. I shared some pictures of one of those little guys yesterday. They're pretty fast. They're hard to get a picture of. So they run around the beach, up and down, darting in and out of the waves. The little sandpipers. Another overcast day. Still paradise no matter what another day in paradise even if it's pouring down rain it's still beautiful here it's such a blessing to be able to come out spend the morning on the beach spend an hour on the beach it definitely clears your mind well, there's a snook i don't think you're gonna be able to see it Right in the shadows here. There's a ridge. See him right? You can kind of make it out there, that dark spot. Right? See him swimming along? That's a snook. Kind of in the middle of the screen. It's coming in a little closer to shore. Now you can see it. One snook. It's pretty cool, huh? Got all kinds of neat fish just offshore. Here comes another one behind it. Two snook. Side by side. Very cool. He caught, he saw me out of the corner. I saw me and bolted off. 
That was neat seeing them. It's usually hard to see them in the water. Everything was just right there. We were able to see them. Boy, I'm not seeing many shells along the beach yet. Very, very quiet here this morning. A lone fisherman here, making his way down the beach in the no fishing area. Oh, there's some sheephead, sheephead fish just offshore. They saw me and took off. Maybe we'll see some more up here. A lot of flies still out here on the beach. Must be the breeding season for flies. They are everywhere this morning. You can see them flying around in front of the camera. Gosh, yesterday there were some great little shells all along the shore here. This morning, there's nothing. I don't know what's going on. It's amazing how things change from day to day. Yesterday, right along in here, there were some great little shells. No new sea turtle crawls. Didn't have any crawls last night. Still only two nests on the beach. Loggerhead sea turtles. A little breeze blowing here, hitting me right in the face now. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of our wonderful moms out there. Actually on a little mission here looking for a nice shell to hang on the shell tree to hang in memory of all the moms that have that are no longer with us and I'm not seeing a lot of shells this morning it's like somebody came and just cleaned the beach off overnight that's someone being mother nature Water is absolutely gorgeous, though. Nice and clear. Beautiful, beautiful clear water. This is the water, the kind of water that you want to go shark tooth hunting in. It's a, a heart rock, a heart stone. This is where you're gonna find the shark's teeth, is right along the water's edge here. Me, I never find them. Other people find them. Not me. <laughs> Besides shark's teeth, there's also sea glass. People collect sea glass here. Somebody 
collected a little pile of shells over here on the beach. There's a nice big cockle shell sitting there. But it doesn't have a hole in it, so we can't put that one on the tree, darn it. Nice little cockle though. Cockle shell. These flies are very annoying. We're up in Area 5 now. Area 5 Beach. That's the northernmost part of the park here at Del Norwegans. amazing how things change from day to day one morning the beach is just covered with shells the next morning there's pretty much nothing it's amazing well, there's a there's something interesting look at this somebody picked up a bunch of conch shells look at that there's a bunch of fighting conchs somebody lined up all empty Florida fighting conks. Well, thank you folks, whoever did that. At least there's, I have one potential shell to hang here. One, kind of looking for something else. I got something else in mind. If I find it, you'll understand why. I do have one shell now. But I have another one in mind that I'd love to hang if I can find it. I found several of them yesterday. I wish I kept one. I see down here. Did I see the sand flea? Yeah, there's a sand flea. That's what those sand fleas look like. A lot of the birds eat these things. The little sand fleas. Take a peek around the corner up here. Oh, there's our little snowy egret we saw yesterday with that little gray spot on top of his head there. That's a little one. There's a couple of little tiny shells here. See all very small little shells here. One of our little black scallop shells over here. There maybe eh, it's got a little red in it. Scallop shell.
There's another scallop. That's a nice looking little scallop right there. Beautiful little scallop shell. Little slipper shell over here. So this one's seen better days, pretty worn. Interesting stripes on it though, the slipper shell. See that looks like a little slipper when you flip it over? The slipper shell. There's a little fighting conch down there, pretty worn. Old turkey wing shell down here. What's left of a turkey wing? Morning. Hmm. Still looking for the right shell to hang on that tree this morning. Ooh, look at here. Beautiful, beautiful moon shell. Look at that. This is an absolutely gorgeous moon shell. Look at the colors on that. Look at that. That is a gem right there. That is an incredibly beautiful moon shell. Wow. Beautiful. See the flies. Awesome shark eye. What a nice find. Rinse that off. You pretty much always find something here. There's a nice little cockle shell. Little baby cockle shell. Those are cool. Another little worm tip right over there. See it down there? Well, maybe we'll find another little shell here. Never give up. More scallops over here. A couple more little scallop shells. Black scallops. Two little black scallops there. Our little auger shells. What do we got down here? Oh, just a partial. Just the tip of a little tulip shell. Just the top of a little tulip. Our friend Scott found a nice tulip shell and gave that to me last week. That was a nice little surprise. There's an interesting looking little scallop. Look at the wings on that one, huh? It's got barnacle. Look at the size of the wings on it, though, down at the base, the fan. See how the scallops, they look like a fan. That's how you tell a scallop shell. That's pretty with the pink. Pink scallop. Pink and gray and white. the north end of the park here up by Wiggins Pass. They're busy dredging up here. The pass got all filled in with sand from during Hurricane Irma and they're just getting to dredging it out now.
It's another old conch shell. Old Florida fighting conch. That's a nice shell to hang on the tree. It's got a couple other shells stuck in it. Down here and there's just a little tiny pile of shells there. Just never know what you're gonna find buried in there. All kinds of little beauties. Piece of worm rock. A little tiny piece of worm rock. A little drill shell, auger shell. Part of an old banded tulip shell there. Not much left of that one. There's a little, looks like a little tiny, tiny, tiny fighting conch. Look at that. That's a little baby right there. Look how small that is. Little baby fighting conch shell. Cool. That's a keeper. Hey, happy Mother's Day to all of our moms joining us this morning. Let every, if you're a mom, let everybody know so we can wish you a happy Mother's Day. There's a little coquina shell. A little coquina. Kinds of be little beautiful shells on the beach. Everybody's walking along looking for the big monsters, but the, there's lots of little jewels here, little gems, little treasures. Look at this little tiny olive shell down here. Little baby olive shell. Little kitten's paw. There's a little kitten's paw there. That's a little one. Kitten paw. Hey, here's another moon shell, a little moon shell over here. So these are the ones people miss. These little, there's a nice, there's a shark eye. Look at, you can really see the eye on this one. It's a little one can really see the shark eye, the eye. They call that a shark eye or moon shell. It's a nice one. That's the second one this morning. Let's see if I can find the other one in my pocket. I'll show it to you. Uh-oh, got money in my pocket. I forgot about that. Here's the other one. You can see the difference in the in the colors and the patterns. Hang on, let me arrange these in my hand real quick. There you can see the difference in the colors and the patterns. You find all different kinds, colors, sizes. Two moon shells. Very cool. So I'm not going home empty handed today. Empty pockets with empty pockets, that's always nice. Oh, I just saw a little, little tiny 
conch shell and the waves carried it out. It's just very, very small. Where did it go? Hmm. With each wave, things change. Well, Quite a few little fishermen up here today. <laughs> I don't know how the fishing is, but there's quite a few fishermen. You can see the barges, the dredging barges over there in the channel in Wiggins Pass. turn around head back down the beach catch up with Roy have our little chat talk about moms today see what we come up with oh there's something cool wow this is really cool. Man, this has got to be the coolest worm shell I have ever found. Look at that. It's like tied in a knot. Look at that. That is the coolest worm shell I have ever found. That is amazing. What a find. Is that not cool? What an example of a worm shell. Wow. I'm afraid to put that in my pocket. I don't want it to break. Cloudy out here this morning. Still beautiful though. Let's see, ask this guy how the fishing is up here. How's the fishing? Uh, it, it's been good, but not today. Not I mean, today, nothing. Yeah, it's so weird. You know, every day I've been here, it's fish been jumping and busting, but yeah, thought it'd be good today. But not yeah, so, not so much. So calm. Yeah, the weather's better than expected. So. Yep. <laughs> thought it was gonna be raining, but yeah, they well, never know. We'll be soon. Yep. <laughs> well, good luck. So now we're heading south, down the beach. We're up in North Naples, Florida at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. If you're new to the, my beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let them know, let everybody know where you're watching from. And today, be sure to let us know if you're a mom so we can wish you a happy Mother's Day. A special shell in mind that I wanted to find to hang on the tree today but it just didn't happen 
there's no guarantees when you're looking for shells. There's a nice little, a little turkey wing shell. I'll always pick a couple of those up and show them to our friends here, the turkey wings. Very cool, the turkey wings. Ida, a mom five times. <laughs> Congratulations, happy Mother's Day, Ida. Wonderful, five children. <laughs> Good job. Little sandpiper running by here. Posted a couple pictures yesterday of one of these little guys. Oh, off he goes. They're pretty fast. They're hard to catch. Get a good shot of them. There's a lot of little shells right off shore here, just on the edge of the water. time you spend looking the more you're gonna find There's all kinds of little beauties out here and neat such a cool pattern with the stripes I don't even know what that is I don't know what you call these I never can remember the name of these shells I'm, I'm just kind of amazed at this worm shell I found that's the craziest looking worm shell I have found to date here on the beach. It's a, it's, like it's almost tied in a knot. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The worm shell. That is so neat. I'm not putting that one in my pocket. I do not want to break it. I've broken a lot of shells putting them in my pocket and bending over. This is where I found a couple little moon shells right in this area earlier this morning. Let's see if I missed anything. There's another little tiny piece of a worm shell right there. Look at that. They are so cool, the worm shells. Something else you find is the you know, pieces of coral on the beach. There's a piece of finger coral. Taking my time here. Not in a huge rush this morning, but I do have to take my wife and mother-in-law out to breakfast this morning. And we're gonna do a, a nice little early dinner too. That's an olive shell. An olive. Beautiful shells, the olive shells. Find them in all different sizes and colors. There's another little tip from a worm shell. See, there's my cool worm shell that I found this morning. There's a tip of a worm shell. You find these tips all over. They're very common here on the beach. I call them wormy tips, this right here. The wormy tip. fun to fill up a jar with those and just sit them on a table. It's fun to talk about them. People are, what are those things? Getting molested by flies here. 
horrible. The flies are horrible. It must be breeding season for the flies. There's a couple weeks of every year the flies are just intolerable. over to the, one of our shell trees here. We have several of these shell trees at the north end of the park. They're sea grape trees. People hang shells on the dead branches of the sea grape trees. Let's see what I got in my pocket here. What do I have to hang? two shells to hang and I don't know I might hang them both they're both conch shells Is that piece of a sand dollar down there e nope just piece of an old clam shell Come over here. Find a nice branch on this tree over here. There's not a lot of shells on this one yet. But you can see a couple shells hanging up here. Let me come around to the back. Find a spot in the back. Find a nice big branch. But I'm gonna hang. I got two shells. The first one, they're both Florida, they're old Florida fighting conch shells. This first one, if I can get it through here, get the branch through here, it might not work there. I want to find kind of a heavy branch to put it on. Here's a good one right back here. This first shell that I'm going to hang, that's for all of our moms that are watching with us today, with us this morning. For our moms, we love you. And then this other one, I have another Florida fighting conch that I'm going to hang. Where's a good spot for this one? Let's see, I'm going to come around to the front of the tree a little more. A little more to the front. Yeah, these darn flies. And there's a really, there's a nice spot right there. Get that on there. There you go. That is for all of our moms that are no longer with us, that are in heaven now. We miss you, we love you, we will never forget you. That's in memory of all the wonderful moms who are in heaven now. God bless you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Miss you, Mom. I'm gonna take a picture of that and I'll repost that a little later today for everybody. Bear with me here. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. There you go. Happy Mother's Day. Let's continue down the beach. We'll check in with our friend Roy. I'm hoping 
to have a nice little conversation with Roy about moms today. Figured that's pretty appropriate. <sighs> Haven't seen our friends, Karen and Karen. <laughs> I'm thinking of Linda. I'm thinking of Karen and Tom Blair. I saw they posted earlier. Two of our Facebook friends that are moving here to Southwest Florida. Great people. They actually got married not too long ago, Karen and Tom, at Doc's Beach House up in Benita. That was quite an event. A sunset wedding, beautiful. Tom being an Irishman wore his kilt. But I do not see our friends Scott and Linda out here this morning. During my past several beach walks, I've seen them out here. Great people also just moved down here. They moved down from Michigan. So peaceful out here this morning. Sunday morning, Mother's Day. In North Naples, Florida. Gotta love it. If any of you are wondering, there were no sea turtle crawls on the beach. Here, it's kind of hard to see. Somebody wrote Happy Mother's Day in the sand here. It's kind of, without the sun, there's the word happy. Happy, see the word happy right there? Where is it, happy? You can make it out. Mothers, see the word mothers here? Happy Mothers and Day. Happy Mother's Day with some hearts, extra love. Gosh, the flies are just horrible right here. I don't know if you can see them flying by the camera. They're really annoying. Conversation's gonna be interesting with Roy out here with all these flies buzzing around. Hopefully he sprayed his raid and got rid of them. Water is gorgeous out here today, nice and clear. The red tide is definitely, the red tide has definitely moved on. Thank goodness for that. Water is nice and clear. Well, there's Roy sitting up there in his beach chair. If you're just tuning in, we're up in North Naples, Florida. 
Took a nice little walk up the beach this morning. Found a couple nice shells. My real find of the day was this worm tip. And this worm shell, look at that. That's the coolest worm shell I have found to date. Isn't that neat looking? The worm, get off of there. See, I told you there's a lot of flies around here. Terrible. Whew. Found a nice little, couple little moon shells, shark eyes. This was a nice one. Look at the colors on this one. That's a great moon shell there. Beautiful colors. I see Roy's got his can of raids sitting by him. <laughs> he doesn't spray that on himself. He just sprays it around the area. Roy, these flies are terrible. Yeah, they're really bad. I gotta keep spraying here. Give us a spray before we talk. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get them out of here. Yeah, they're really bad. Don't something. breathe that in. But gosh. Man. They are everywhere. They're pretty bad. Goodness. They won't get off of me. They keep landing on the camera. <laughs> That's because you're so sweet. That's what it is. It's probably yeah, I'm like just about after finished. Shave. Boy, has this been a book about the, the construction of the Panama Canal. Oh, yeah. Man, one of the best books I've ever read. It's really thrilling. Wow. All the problems they endured is unbelievable. And how they accomplished it. The big huh. Calibra cut and all, everything. Right. Man. And all the politics involved in the getting the thing going and the French were there first and they couldn't do it and left all their equipment and pulled out and mm. it was an unbelievable story. So, so many... I love doing reading these books oh, about yeah. the historical events that are so spectacular. I read one about the building of the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, and I just finished that book I was telling you about where they paddled down the Amazon the 4, River. 4,000 mile the trip. The whole 4,200 yeah. miles from the source out to the uh, ocean. Man, what a story. Oh, mm. it's a thrilling time. It That's is. one of my recommendations, folks. Read good, interesting books that are re really uh, something actual, that, uh, you know, that actually happened, something historical or worthwhile. It, it's a thrilling time. Okay. Really, really How worthwhile. many books do you think you read? You probably read at least one a week. If oh, not no, more. not that quite many. Oh, I'm in so? no rush to get through them. I, in fact, when there's some really thrilling, interesting parts, sometimes I reread it because I kind of like to get the, the message. <laughs> so it's part of the joy of li living, part of the joy of life. Oh, somebody here, Karen Lynn, says, Heidi Ho, neighbor Roy. Well, she your hi, neighbor? Karen. Karen? Yeah, Karen, yep. she's a neighbor. I remember her. <laughs> she says, good morning, <laughs> says, Heidi Ho. Heidi Ho, huh? Well... It's Mother's Day today. How about that? Hey, I got to tell you something cute. There was this English lady walked by. You know that tall, slim one? Uh -huh. She's from England. Well, I wished her a happy Mother's Day, and she seemed a little surprised. Then she said, "Well, well, thank you. Mother's Day in English is in Mar in England is in March." Oh, is it? Yeah, I said. So I told her she could have two Mother's Days. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't either. So you learned something new. So that Mother's Day is in March in, in, England. in England. Yeah. Wow. I did not know that. I thought it was universal. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was a nice little treat for her. Yeah. Did you wind up getting a hug for that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so it paid off for you, too. Yeah, and these other ladies that came by, my golly, the one with, I had wished her a hopper, happy Mother's Day. Oh, she seemed kind of surprised. She'd forgotten it, and um, she had seven children. Wow. And 21 grandchildren. How about that? My goodness. And her sister was with her. She, she was also a mother. So it's fun seeing these ladies and... Wishing him a happy Mother's Day. Breezy. That wind will yes. keep the flies off here. As a mother Seven. has a, a terrific lot of work to do, and they do gr a great job. Don't at they it. do good jobs? Boy. I'll tell you what, I know my mom did. Yeah. She had her hands full with me. Well, <laughs> because, you know, the, the dad, he, he's, uh, he's got to uh, well, he's earn the a provider. living, and he's usually away working. Yeah. And, uh, and um, sometimes, uh, even if he isn't off working, he isn't all that... Uh, uh, concerned and interested in the in in the, the uh, household family duties, life yeah. and the household and 
And uh, so the mother is really, she's kind of got the job pretty much all to herself. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, you know, things have changed a little bit now. There's a lot of working moms. Yeah, and, and, you know, and sometimes the sta dad stays home, takes care of yeah. things. But basically, he's off working, and uh, and she's at home with the children. And so uh, even a lot of the discipline that should come from the dad, uh, but uh, comes through from the mother. She provides the discipline, the training, my goodness, the whole thing. My mom would, when it came to discipline, my mom, she would, she was in charge of it, but I don't know how to say it. She would take care of the little things. And but she when, say when your when yeah. your dad comes you, home, he'll really let yeah. you know. Dad, yeah, then you're always she told kinda, dad about the big things, and dad took care of business. Frightened of your dad, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never wanted dad to find out because you knew that there was going to be a oh, penalty yeah. for that. Yeah, point. Yeah, that razor strap in yeah. the bathroom. You Something. Know. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, the old the old days were a lot different. You got a you got a whooping when you did something yeah, bad. They didn't the have safety days. razors, so he had a <laughs> razor strap. <laughs> now they just tell a kid to go stand in the corner or something. <laughs> There's no consequences anymore. Well, discipline is really vital. It's important. Yeah, you are kidding. Without that, why, well, it's just chaos. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, mom. And you know, she let a lot of things slide. <laughs> she kind of turned, turned well, her eye. Well, you know, she loved the kids, which is one of the best for them, but loved them and wanted to provide uh, really great conditions and yeah. good training and upbringing, boy. Those women, they, they do a fantastic job. I really you know, respect them. When I was a kid, I was always I was always thinking I was getting one over on mom. <laughs> but no, as I got older, she's like, I, you remember when you did this? You remember when you did that? I don't think I just, they missed too much. They didn't. <laughs> My mom said, well, we were just hoping you'd... We'd let you dig your own hole and then <laughs> dig your way out of it. Well, you know, that's how women are even when we're growing up. You know, even when we're married and all, they, they don't miss anything, I don't think. But a good gal just doesn't make a lot of comments about it. <laughs> you there know, you go. she lets the man have his male ego, but <laughs> in, in reality, she's in charge anyway. She just that lets, what it is? lets the man feel like he's in charge. <laughs> well, we don't want to bruise the ego. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got to have our male you got a ego. Point there. That's funny. <laughs> oh, no. My mom did a lot for me, but I tell you what, my mom had a, she had a tough life. She was, when she was 13 years old, yeah. she developed rheumatoid arthritis. Oh my goodness. So she was. 13? Yep. That wasn't supposed started. to come on until you're in your no. 70s or 80s. So she was always, I mean, her whole life, she was always, she was a guinea pig for medicine. Oh. I mean, they were always experimenting with her, trying new medicines on her. Oh dear. And I mean. And she raised me, just, I hope I turned out all right. I, don't yeah, know. I think she did a good job. And then she had, she was in pain 24 hours oh, a day. Oh, I'm really sorry. I mean, her hands, but by the time she passed away, her body was all twisted. And oh dear, oh dear. It was, it was hard to look at. Yeah, that's it. She really had a heart insane. of gold. And my dad, I mean, he stayed, they, he stayed by her side. Good for him. They, and he had his hands full too, you know, he had, he had a lot to do, providing, yeah. like you say, for us and, and taking care of my mom. And he, yeah. um, they were both, they were childhood sweethearts and they both, oh, and that they, while they both separated, went, oh, get all these flies. Ugh. Oh. They, they were childhood sweethearts and they both kind of went different ways. He went off in the Air Force and he married some French girl and she married oh, really? some other guy, yep, and then. When they were 40, they wound up getting divorced and and got back and got, together. And they got together oh, and got what married. A, what a romantic story! Right away, they had me. How about that? That's <laughs> well, a story of romance. That's yeah. wonderful. But then, something that was really incredible was they passed away on the same day. No kidding. Yep. You kid. That's yep. it. I had. I had. They lived in Miami. I grew up in Miami, and I brought them over here and. I had a house that I rented behind my house and I was trying to take care of them. It got yeah. too much and I put them in a, a nursing home here on Immokalee Road and they were in there for about eight months and my mom, my dad passed away in the morning and my mom passed away that evening. My gosh. And they, their entire lives they told me they were here for each other. 
That's amazing. And just amazing. Just natural causes, you know, they both passed. How and, old were they about? Uh, 72. Uh -huh. But the ironic thing was the very next day was their wedding anniversary. No kidding. Yep. <laughs> That's really something. And so, they were both gone the day before. Yep. They both passed the day before in, in time to spend their anniversary together in heaven. How about that? Yeah, Wasn't that something? Audrey passed just a day before her birthday. Did she? Because I had her birthday cake. I was going to bring it out to oh. her, and then they said she was gone. Now, Audrey had children, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. She's a daughter. Yeah. But you two, you and Audrey didn't have children. Did you? Did you have no. children? No. No. Just... I gotta stretch my legs here for a second. Old age. <laughs> it's hard to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I have the same problem. <laughs> uh, well, you have an excuse. You're 93 years old. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, so Audrey passed before the day before her birthday. Yeah. Well, I never knew that. When I started my beach walk this morning, I started up by the bench and read everybody that beautiful poem you wrote. Well, thank you. I mean, that was. Thank you. I thought that was appropriate for today. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was a mother, too. Yep. So tell me something about your mom. You know, oh, mom was terrific. She she took care of us, and then she took... One of the really great things is she took some great trips with us. Really? Yeah, my dad, she had an old... It was amazing. It was a Cunningham. It was called... It was a funeral car of all darn things, oh. one of these real big things, but right. he redid it so we could sleep in the back of the car. Not a hearse. No, no, not a hearse. The one but the family it, rides it. Yeah, I think like so. Limo, so. It was a really yeah. big old thing. And, uh, and but he uh, he probably was manufactured one of the first, uh, like these um, uh, mobile home things that drive along. Oh, really? They An call RV? Those, yeah. Whatever they call those An things RV. now. Yeah. yeah, RV, but it wasn't that big, but... We, we were young kids, my brother and I, and we slept in the back, and my mom had a separate bed, so we all slept in the car, and we took some <laughs> long trips. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We, she took us way out west. I know we, we saw the, uh, the redwoods, and uh, oh, oh, and wow. we camped different places. All this, the park, the huge parks we, we visited, and all well, with mom. Well, and, yeah, the and national parks. Then we camped at Devil's Lake when we were kids, and... And uh, we had a tent there we camped all summer. That's where we learned to swim and to sail. I built a little kayak and learned it uh, with a sail on it and learned to sail there. And Dad would come out on weekends and visit. And wow. the rest of the time we camped there. So Mom was with us the whole time. So did, did your Mom and Dad take turns driving on those trips? or? Well, Dad didn't come. Oh, Dad didn't go. That's okay. why I was getting it was just, our, mom. just yeah, Mom. Just Mom, yeah, mom. on the long trips. And, Wow. So that that was really something. Uh, that was one of the big things that mom did with us. And so we we had quite a great life. <laughs> uh, I remember my mother one year. She was my mom would do anything to get you know to make people laugh. She just wanted to make other everybody happy. Oh, how wonderful! She one Halloween. I never. It, my dad almost killed her. She. She just went out. She put on his jock strap. <laughs> You're kidding. And, and a bra and went around trick or treating with me. The jock and a bra? <laughs> That's the goofiest thing I've ever heard. Oh my God. It, <laughs> she stuffed a big sock in what? the jock strap. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Oh, my dad. What are you thinking? <laughs> he didn't have a steel jock <laughs> like a football player, no, did he? No, not the it was the craziest thing. She didn't go far. She just went. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I got to hand it to her. <laughs> just to some of our close friends. <laughs> I was embarrassed. My I'll dad was embarrassed. I'll bet you he had a fit, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was the silliest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Oh, my. It almost ruined me for life. <laughs> How old were you? Were you aware uh, of it? Yeah, I was probably eight. <laughs> so you had a rough idea what was going on. Yeah. Like, oh, that's really, I got to hand it to your mom. The people, when they put the look on the people's faces when they open their door. Oh, just, oh, Lord. What the heck? What a is, gal. I got to hand Thelma it to lost her. lost her marbles. Oh, I like a good laugh. Somebody, <laughs> oh, do something like that. It's fabulous. Oh, <laughs> she knew how to have fun, though. She, they used to enjoy, every once in a while, they'd get to go to parties, and they used to have fun together. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful.
My hey. dad, she called my dad and stick in the mud. <laughs> she was the outgoing yeah. one. He was, he, she was, he was the introvert. Did they dance, was, dance together at the parties oh, yeah. and everything? Oh, yeah. But wonderful. my dad was pretty reserved. Yeah. He, he kept a low profile. Well, it's a lot of times that way where the one is one way and the other is the other, and they, they make a good union then. Yep. <laughs> How about your mom? Was she out? Was she outgoing? Oh, uh, yeah, it, kind of. Not, not you know, not real whoop de doo. We didn't mm -hmm. have a lot of parties at home or anything right. like that. Yeah. <laughs> she played the piano, and How she about? got us going in music too. As a matter of fact, she played the piano, and then my granddad, he he played the violin and the flute, and the violin he gave to my brother, so he played the violin. The flute he gave to me, so I. Learn to play the flute. Oh boy, so, you still have that, I think. I, I saw have it. my old yeah, flute. Yeah, I saw the flute yeah. at your house. It was from my granddad. It probably doesn't work anymore, does it? No, the pads are kind of gone, but it's still there. Speaking of music, ugh, you got that harmonica with us? I do. How about um, "You Are My Sunshine" for all our moms out there? Oh yeah, they're our sunshine. They are right? our sunshine, aren't they? Yeah, my only sunshine. Hmm. You make me happy when skies are blue. Gray. Gray. <laughs> well, I like blue skies. They make us happy all the time, no matter what color the skies are. <laughs> we'll see how the, the old, old, owner. old reeds are doing. Yep. <laughs> you are my sunshine. For all our moms out there, our sunshine. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Who's behind me? Oh, there's some couple there. Oh, hey, how are you guys? I haven't seen uh, Scott and Linda out here yet this morning. No, they were here yesterday quite a bit for a long, long time. Oh, were they? Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, say, speaking of dolphins, this English lady told me there were two dolphins. Way down that way, and really coming out of the water with their tail sticking oh, really? up, really, flapping around. So they must be boycotting you and me up here. <laughs> well, they w was kind of way down a ways, but uh, I, I miss seeing them. Yeah, did you catch them up at the pass no, yesterday? No, I, I didn't see them up there yesterday. Well, at least I saw them there. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, it's nice chatting to you. Nice hearing about your mom. Yeah, I got to think back about mom. I'll say a bunch of prayers for her. Yeah. She and the nicest lady came by. It was one of the ladies that I uh, congratulated for Mother's Day. She said that she, when she was doing her rosary up the beach, she included me in her prayers when oh, she did sweet. her rosary. Wasn't that sweet? That is sweet. Yeah, it touched my heart that she'd pray for me like that. I hung a couple shells on the tree there this morning. For yeah. our moms, for our moms yeah. that are with us, and for our moms that aren't with yeah, us. Yeah, we'll say a, say a prayer for moms up in heaven. Yeah. They're so wonderful, wonderful people. So yeah. there's always they're still watching over us, our moms. Yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> you get that feeling, don't yeah. you? I know when she's watching me. And I, I talk to mom up in heaven too, and to dad, and to grandma and grandpa. Yeah, yeah. they're all. You just get that feeling, that warm feeling inside. You know well, when they're with you. Yeah, no, prayer. it's all kind of prayer, too. It yep. ties in a prayer, which is just an unbelievable, fantastic, glorious thing is prayer. It makes you feel so wonderful. Yes, it does. Of course, wow. of course it's making serotonin in your brain. Yeah, <laughs> serotonin that, makes that you that happy. That helps along. Yeah. <laughs> That's sure an interesting scientific fact, why prayer should create serotonin, but they've proven it. <laughs> yeah, that serotonin. That's why you always have that smile. <laughs> you got the serotonin 
in your blood. Well, life is so glorious, you know. It's just it's so wonderful and glorious. And, and a, a big, big part of life, like we talked about, is friendship. And my friendship with you, I look forward to seeing you every morning here. When I, when I see you down the beach, I oh, boy, there's Rob. It's a really, it's a great, glorious feeling. When I see you up here, I'm like, oh, good Thank goodness Roy's up here. <laughs> the morning when I come to the beach, if I don't see you, it's like a morning without sunshine. <laughs> you make everybody's day. <laughs> Even though we have a few uh, big big words to <laughs> yeah, I forgot to disseminate. Huh? What was today's word? I can't remember what it was. I never heard it before. Recalcitrant. Recalcitrant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. <laughs> Well, I was thinking about what it means. I think it means uh, is something that you're um, uh, sorry that you did. It's, uh -huh. and it has something to do with, uh, ties into um, reluctance. I think it's the same um, root as reluctance. You're reluctant about things and you're sorry you, you did something. Huh. Recalcitrance, it's a well, feeling of, of well. re Reluctance and uh, so that's not a bad re word. Remorse ties yeah. in with re re recalcitrance. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being remorseful. No, that's a good thing to be remorseful. It's when you're not, it's you're bad, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's nice to have words that describe everything, like the attorney's <laughs> Big words. <do>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just use remorseful. Yeah, you gotta throw in a lot of if buts and two its and Yeah, two its <laughs> whereas's. Don't forget the whereas's. Oh gosh. <laughs> and don't forget to be when you're cogent, don't forget to be concatenated. <laughs> <laughs> You've got them all. <laughs> Without that, the cogency isn't worth oh, the hill of beans. You've got them all, Roy. You're a hoot. <laughs> all right. Well I'm gonna take off here. I'm gonna take my wife and mother out to breakfast here. Hey, wonderful. That's a great yep. idea. Start the day with, fill their bellies. <laughs> well, I'll swing in and join you for breakfast. There you go. <laughs> then we're going <laughs> to go out to dinner later tonight. So. Oh, how nice. It's going to be a food day. It's a nice idea. Yep. Gotta All right, see. Roy. Well, thanks for the chat. Well, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure seeing you, Rob, and bless all those wonderful Facebook friends. Yep. They send their love to you, believe well, me. Well, love to all of them. I'm gonna, They're all beautiful people. I'm going to flip the phone around here real fast, and I'm going to show you something here. Watch this. <laughs> That's me here. Have a, have a hold on there. I want everybody. Roy's looking at the screen there. Show Roy. Hey, Karen Lynn says. Send some love. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that screen light up with hearts here. Karen Lynn says 50 cent words. The big ones. Look at the hearts. Here come the hearts, Roy. Woo! Look at the hearts. Carolyn <laughs> Beach says, enjoy every day, guys. Thanks, Rob. Wasn't that nice of her from Carolyn Let's Beach? See, I want to see that screen fill up with hearts. Oh, golly, it is. It is. I just want to see hearts flying everywhere. Look uh, at them. Uh, Look uh, at them. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a fountain of hearts. Jojo says, up. tally whoo, Captain Roy, <laughs> says Jojo. Karen Lynn says, LOL, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ma means, Maggie says hi, Shunshin. LOL means lots of love. Oh, I like that. Lots, lots of, of love. love. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here's uh, Cindy sending me hugs from New Jersey. <laughs> Inker says hi. Scott says love you, Roy. Well, Phil, love you too. Linda says good morning. Good morning, Linda. Debbie Craig says love you. Well, love you too, Linda. My golly, Debbie. Uh, Kathy says, good morning, love, Roy, love your music. Whoop, she's gone. Patty Knight says, many players, Roy, Ka Karen, good morning, Roy, much love to you. Well, much love to you, Karen. Lynn Scher says, hi, Roy. Well. And yeah, they're just going to keep on going. Well, they'll isn't that something? they keep on coming, isn't that something? Yeah, bless you all. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Isn't that amazing how many people are out there watching? Well, I think your mom did a good job on you, Rob. Well, I think your mom did a good job on you, too. Well, she worked at it. I uh, I hope I follow a lot of her recommendations. They, you know, they might be up there together, conspiring. Well, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's up there together. Well, you think they met each other up there? I guess everybody meets everybody. It's quite a big jamboree. You think they've met up there in heaven? Well, well, we'll find out if and when we ever <laughs> oh, get yeah. up there. Someday. And we'll have our chat with the great creator. Won't that Wouldn't be Wouldn't that fun? be something, huh? Yeah. 
Give him a few suggestions and recommendations. <laughs> recommendations to the creator? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I, watch. I'll, a, I'll watch when you do that. I'll see well, how I, that I've works. got a few. I'm sure everybody could think of a few. Uh, you know, that it'd be nice if he'd eliminate some of these things that are pulling us down, like germs and all that sort of thing. Well, those, those are part of his test for us here on Earth. This well, life is a test. Yeah, right. Well... You could it's have not a... supposed to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is where this is all the hardships here. So when you die, heaven is a wonderful place. Well, There's no hardships. Joe, germs is difficult to do anything about. Although the science has done a lot of research on it, but uh, but so I'm going to have a chat with a great creator and ask him if he's got such a big, big all overall power. Why that he doesn't wipe out the germs? <laughs> we'll see what he says I'll, about that. I'll be happy if he gets rid of these flies. The first start. Well, yeah, the flies and mosquitoes, they could, <laughs> they could go too. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> and today. the noceums. The noceums can go too. <laughs> so, you see what I mean? You got some recommendations too. There you go. <laughs> you ask him why he created them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> why did you make those nasty mosquitoes? <laughs> what purpose do they serve, mosquitoes? Yeah, I can't think of course, of I suppose you could ask the same thing. What purpose do we serve? <laughs> well, we're his entertainment. <laughs> we are his entertainment, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, I got to get moving along, Roy. But you have a fantastic day. You too, Rob. Yeah, it was oh, great it was chatting great. to you, chatting with you. Yeah, we have some great times yep. together. Hearing about your mom. Wonderful lady. And your mom, wonderful. Yep. wonderful God bless lady. them yep. both. Yep. Bless all the moms and grandmas. And great bless grandmas. all the moms, the grandmoms, the moms that are here with us, the moms that are in heaven. God bless you all. All right, Roy. Tally ho. Tally ho. Have a great day. Hmm. You want to spray for the flies for the journey? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> well, there you have it. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, from North Naples, Florida. Have a great day, wherever you're watching from in this big, beautiful world we live in. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.